Hello friends, Tony here. Now in this video let's start and work with the events show page. So when we click here to the title, we need to navigate to the events to show the details of this event. For that let's open the VS Code and the first thing I'm going to open the terminal and let's go here. I'm going to create a controller for that. So let's say artisan make controller Okay, now the name of the controller is going to be event show controller. Hit enter, it's going to be in vocable, so select two here and we are okay. Let's open the web route and register that controller here. So I'm going to say route get and with a slash e slash and the event id so i'm going to say just id like this and let's use now that event show controller make sure you import that i'm going to give it a name also so let's say name to be event show but not like this. I prefer to say event show like this. Okay. Now let's save this and let's open the event show controller. Here we need the ID. So I'm going to say dollar sign ID here. And let's say dollar sign event is going to be equal with the event. And I'm going to use the find or fail dollar sign the id here and then we need to return the events show page but we don't have that so first let's import this event from uh, app models event and let's let's create this events show page i'm going to say uh, events show like this now let's open the views and we have events here but i'm going to create a new one so let's say event or events show dot blade dot php okay now here we can use that uh, layout we have created in the previous video so x main layout Okay, if I save now and let's open the index, the welcome page, sorry, not the index. And here when we have this anchor, anchor tag with shrap to be slash events, I'm going to say here, add the route. And the route is going to be events show. And we need to pass here the event ID. So event ID here. And let's save now and let's see on the browser. Refresh. If I click here, we navigate to slash e slash five. Let's go back to this one, slash e slash three. Okay. Now let's close this one and let's start and work in here. I'm going to close also this. Okay, now I have prepared a template here. I'm going to use this one. You can design your own, or you can search and find what you like, but I'm going to use this. So just copy in here and let's paste it inside here. Let's save and let's see on the browser now what we have. If I navigate to this one, yeah, here it is. Now we need to change everything because this is hard coded, also the image and so on. Let's start and work with that. So the first thing, let's scroll up and I'm going to close also the and I here when we have the image, I'm going to say asset and use the image from the event. So let's say slash storage slash and concatenate the event image like this 
let's save and yeah now we have the event image then what we have others is uh, here we have a buttons for like save and attending and also here we have for the comment but we are going to work with them in other videos right now i just display the title the country city time and so on so uh, we have the like save attending then we have the host info which is right here so we need to display the event username and event user email so let's say here dollar sign event user relationship and i want to display the name and then let's copy and paste down there for the email okay let's say here email let's save and yeah here we have a test user and test example.com and let's say uh, I'm going to say to this one to give it a BG of slate 200 okay let's give it some padding of 2 and around it to be MD yeah I think now it's more okay now let's work with the uh, title so let's scroll down and here we have the title let's display the title here dollar sign event title and then we have the country and the city so let's display here the country dollar sign event country name and then here the city dollar sign event city name okay let's save and let's see now yeah we have Greece Patra here then we need to display the date and the time so start and let's display here dollar sign event start date and here dollar sign event start time okay now uh, if you like this good if you don't like we can change that so the date so let's open the event model and here we can add the protected dollar sign casts and let's close here the casts okay and then i'm going to say not no tickets but i'm going to say uh, start date and it's going to be it's going to be a date and now i'm going to specify how i want to render so i'm going to say m slash like this now you can change what you like so if i save this and let's see nothing change right now yeah he's changed his other time also but we can go to event show and here we can say to array and then add the start date so we need to save the, the array here and add the start date let's save this and let's see on the browser yeah now we have something like this then we need to display the description so in here let's say dollar sign event description and save okay here is the description we need to remove this we don't need that and i think we have all of the needs for the events so the title 
the country city start date okay and that's it about this video friends this is how we can display all the details for the events and next we need to work with the like save and attending also the comment and so on so see you in the next videos all the best